This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video we will cover moving actors. So in this map I've put a few examples of how you can move actors. Some of these actors will move by default. So as an example here I have a fan which is a decoration. You come up here to actor, decoration, fan number two and I just put that on the wall and if you right click on it choose properties there's a couple things that I want to draw your attention to first you go under advanced and B static must be false so that means that it is not static number one number two you come into the movement tab which is this one B fixed rotation direction is true so that's set to true and then under rotation rate if I expand that you will see there's an exp uh, a rotation of 20,000 for roll so this whole piece is how it's set by default the next example uh, and just as an example the sniper rifle this one here on the right hand side is the default sniper rifle so if I right click on that and I choose properties you will see the similarity if I go to advanced B static is false and then I come down to movement B fixed rotation direction is true and then rotation rate is a 5000 in the direction called yaw and this is by default so if you just add the sniper rifle to your map it's going to be rotating so all you need to do if you don't want your weapons to be rotating you right click properties advanced and here choose B static to true and as soon as you set that to true it's going to ignore everything you set in the movement tab so we can take a look at that now there's another way to move actors with what we call an attach mover and I've already shown you how to make a basic mover so this is a slight variation you come over here to the left toolbar and this here is the mover button and you right click and when you right click you can choose attach mover instead of the basic mover so if you, if you click on that you're going to get an attach mover and I've made one here to show you what it looks like so the only thing you need to do now with the attach mover is expand this property and choose a tag so in this case I called it smoking and what that means is as this mover moves any other actor with the same tag as this will move with it so let me show you how that works also note that I've chosen a movement B fixed rotation direction is true and then under rotation I made it yaw 5000 which is the same as a default sniper rifle so you've got your movement set here and uh, your attach tag here and this doesn't have to be a rotating mover it could just be a normal mover like you made with your basic movers and your actors will follow it so I just took a few things at random to show you this is a light box which I've also shown you in a previous tutorial you come up here to actor decoration UT decoration light box so I've already shown this to you before you right click on it properties advanced B static is false and events under the tag you put smoke in and that matches the attach tag of the attach mover next one is this which is the car you come up to actor decoration car zero one which is this guy here 
And the final thing I want to show you is this puff of smoke, which is going to come out of that car. You go to Actor, Effects, Expand Effects, Smoke Generator. And then you right click on Smoke Generator, so I can show you what I've done. Once again, Advanced, B Static, False, Events, Tag, Smoking. And then the smoke generator properties here. Let me just show that to you. This is 2.5. I chose 2.5. It's the size of the puff of smoke. Smoke delay is 0.1 seconds. That means it's a 0.1 second delay between each puff of smoke that is generated. So you can adjust that. And total number of puffs, I put 9999. But you can do is probably larger numbers than that too. You want to make sure that you have enough here so that it'll last during your match. Finally, since these are actors, as I've shown in a previous tutorial, you can go into the sound property and you can add an ambient sound. So here I have like a looping machine sound for the car. And then when you right click on the smoke, under sound, I have like this looping, hissing sound for the smoke as well. The final thing is, is that the smoke generator does not work until it's triggered. So what I had to do is add a trigger right next to my player start. So if you can see there, there's a player start here and the trigger there. And then under events, in the event field, I put the same tag, which is smoking. So the only reason why this trigger is here is to activate that puff of smoke at the same time that you spawn into the map. So let's take a look at this in game. So here is the default sniper rifle. You can see how it's rotating in Yaw 5000. This one I changed the property to be static is true. This is the fan that comes by default. So the only thing is you can shoot it. So if you don't want it to be shootable, you need to go into the collision properties and set all the collides to false. And here is the attach mover brush. And as you can see, the light box and the smoke and the car all go together. And the sound that you're hearing is coming from the actors themselves. So a couple things to note here. You do not want this brush to be in the game. Because if you interfere with it, it will affect the rotation of this mover. So you want this mover to be out of the game area. Completely out of the game area. And the second thing is that this mover doesn't have to be a rotating mover. As long as it's an attached mover brush, you can move it anywhere you want, like any other basic mover. You could use, as an example, an invisible collision hull, so nobody will even see your mover. And then you can have your car with your smoke fly in all sorts of different patterns if you want to. There's a lot of different things, so just use your imagination. But the key takeaway here is that any actor you have can be moved in your map.